Tuesday, Bernie Sanders came out and formally endorsed uh, Secretary of State, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for presidency. Now, immediately, as Bernie Sanders was on stage talking, the backlash from his supporters on Twitter, Facebook, and other uh, online sources was uh, intense. He was uh, labeled a sellout, said he's betrayed his values. People said, well, I guess I'm Jill Stein now. And listen, here's the thing. The, the movement that uh, Bernie Sanders really started in politics, this push to the left to get the Democratic Party to go to the left, the, the fights that his uh, uh, platform committee appointees had in the last couple of weeks to get progressive positions into that platform, those haven't gone away. That movement is still there. But if you abandon it, then it has lost all its power and his candidacy was meaningless. And that's the thing that, that a lot of people just don't get right now. They're, they're, they're so angry that he would endorse Hillary Clinton, even though it was an entirely predictable diplomatic thing that always happens. That is how politics work. And it's not the best thing, but it is how it goes. And look, I am not a, a huge fan of Hillary Clinton by any means. I have supported Bernie Sanders' candidacy. I supported him in the primaries. I did donate some money. And yes, it's disappointing that he did not win. But I also understand what's at stake. And I'm not going to say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to let Donald Trump win the White House because I'm bitter. I'm not going to do it. I mean, look at what's happening in this country right now as far as race relations and hatred go. I mean, we're seeing black people straight up murdered by police officers. And the Republican response to that is, well, they're all thugs. They're all bad people that probably deserve to die anyway. That's the Republican response. Do you think that's going to get better or worse under Donald Trump? Now, it may not get better under Hillary, but at least she is genuine when she says that she cares. Donald Trump will make things worse. What about violence against Muslims? A few weeks ago, I talked to Murtaza Hussein from The Intercept, and there are documented cases where Donald Trump supporters are out there uh, uh, inciting violence, acting out violent acts against Muslim Americans just for being who they are. And it is directly related to Donald Trump's hateful rhetoric. Another thing that's going to get worse if Donald Trump wins the White House, because these people who are willing to carry out these acts are going to feel empowered by a Donald Trump presidency. And that's what's terrifying. Yeah, this year is going to be a lesser of two evil elections. And that sucks. It really does. I get it. And I'm not selling out. I still have my beliefs. But I also know that there are other people in this country that are going to suffer immensely if Donald Trump wins the White House. And I have seen a lot of people on Twitter say to me, hey, look, I survived eight years of Bush administration. I'll be fine for four years of Trump. Well, you know what? You know who didn't survive eight years of Bush administration? Several thousand U.S. soldiers. So that's a pretty asinine and disrespectful comment for people to be making. You might have survived, but people, honest to God, didn't. And, uh, you know, this, this is getting ridiculous at this point. Again, I've been a huge supporter of Bernie Sanders for much longer than just the primaries. But the fact of the matter is he didn't win. So we have to grow up, buck up, suck it up, and get out there and make sure that Donald Trump doesn't win the White House. And while we're at it, let's keep working hard to make sure that the Democratic Party continues to move to the left. We have to hold Hillary Clinton accountable. We have to make sure that she is not going to lurch to the right if she wins the White House. Because that's almost as dangerous as a Donald Trump presidency. But the, the gains that the progressive movement has made as a result of Bernie Sanders' candidacy will completely disappear if those volunteers, those fighters, those true progressives out there 
decide to completely abandon the Democratic Party because you are the only thing pulling it to the left. And if you go away, that party is going right back to the right and will still have the problems with the system that we have right now. Voting third party right now, it's just not going to happen. And you look at the polls. Most voters, almost 90% of this country, have never even heard of Jill Stein. About 85% have never even heard of Gary Johnson. And I don't want to undermine their campaigns at all. I like a lot of what Jill Stein has to say. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen this year. We have to be realistic. I mean, hell, in the last two weeks, both Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama have come out in support of a single-payer health care system. And that's because of the work that you people have been doing. And you're willing to throw all that away because Bernie Sanders didn't win. There were instances of erratic and irregular voting machines. There was voter suppression but not enough to give him the election. I don't buy that argument. I don't believe it, and I don't think you should either. There is not enough evidence to show that Bernie Sanders would have won if the system wasn't rigged. It was not rigged any more than it usually is. The Democratic Party needs to address that, and they need to fix it. Otherwise, Republicans could steal this election from them. But I'm not going to buy into any of these conspiracy theories. Hillary Clinton did win. The system was not rigged in favor or against one person or another. And yeah, Wasserman Schultz did her best to keep Bernie Sanders out of the public eye with the debates. If you want to consider that rigged, then yeah, that was rigged. But they can't influence the minds of the voters. And the voters are the ones who put Hillary Clinton as the nominee. And we have to accept that. We can't live in a fantasy world anymore. And in the real world, you have so much more power than you realize. And again, you're, you're willing to throw it away because Bernie Sanders endorsed Hillary Clinton. That, that almost speaks volumes to your character. You know, do you really want change? Or did you just want Bernie Sanders? Because Bernie Sanders wants change. It's not about him. It never was. He wants to make the system better. He wants to inspire people to go work towards making the system better because he knows he's not going to be around for the next 20 years. But you will be. And if you're not going to fight, then nothing is ever going to change.